everyone, Gigi here with Spirit Readings, and I'm so glad that you're able to join me here today. Um, today we are going to do the daily forecast for Tuesday, November 3rd. I hope that we all have a terrific Tuesday, you guys, and you know, it's, it's going to be a day, you guys. Uh, for all of us so all right um you know please keep in mind that there are so many of us so not everything may resonate and you know what that's perfectly okay you guys if it doesn't apply go on ahead and let her fly you know leave it for someone else uh, that it does resonate with and this is an intuitive reading so if something doesn't fit if something doesn't feel right to your spirit you know just accept you know what hey it doesn't fit it doesn't feel right it's not working for me personally and I'm just going to let it go. You know, there's absolutely no sense in stressing yourself out or making yourself feel bad by trying to force things to fit, feel right, and work when they simply just don't. You know, woo saw right on out the door with that mess. All right, okay. So, whew, you guys, lots of energy <laughs> in the air. All right, some wisdom for the everyday witch. We have meditation to dig deep. Yesterday, we also had a meditation. And this is coming from the Everyday Witch Oracle by Deborah Blake. Uh, this wisdom that we can use today is coming from the element of Earth. Now, our Earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. You know, you may have one or more of these signs in your birth chart somewhere. Like for me, my moon is in Capricorn. Uh, one of my nodes is in Capricorn. Like I have Capricorn in a few placements, you guys. But you know what? Even if you don't or you don't know, that's perfectly okay because just like the magician, we can draw on the power of any element at any time. So, you know, a shift seems to have taken place, you know, where the world encourages and supports shallow pursuits and, you know, immediate pleasures. But, you know, we need to dig a little deeper than what's just on the surface. You know, while you meditate today, you can focus on this question to ask yourself, what areas of my life could benefit from more attention? You know, look at the issues a little more closely and carefully. Um, avoiding these issues, you know, it's, it's not going to lead to a solution, you guys. You know, do the deep work that you know you need to do. And don't worry about what anyone else thinks or has to say. You know, you're doing this for yourself, knowing that it will take time and it will take energy, you guys. But this is being willing to put into to put in the work. You know, we're planting seeds here, expecting to reap something wonderful when it is time, you guys. So, yes, putting our good seeds into the good fertile earth. Yes, you guys. All right, the present, the situation as it currently is, we have the queen of swords here. So, you know, whether you're male or female, this is the energy of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius coming in here. And yesterday, this queen was in the outcome position, you guys. She was at the end, and now she's at the beginning here today. So, you know, this is us embodying the energy of this queen. You know, we may be stern, but we are not without compassion. We may find ourselves ruling with our head a bit more today instead of our hearts, but that doesn't mean we are being hard-hearted, okay? We are wise and fair, honest and forthright while we are embodying this energy. We are prepared for battle if it should come, but we will try, you know, our hardest to resolve things as peacefully as possible. 
our conflicts will not be forever or long lasting, you guys. You know, the clouds, they've already started to part. And we are being illuminated again with the light of hope, you guys. So much hope here when these clouds part. You know, as the queen, we're picking up our, our sword of truth, you guys, to cut through illusions and all the BS. You know, we're getting to... We're getting to the heart of the issues, the meat of the matter, you know, however it is that you like to describe it. We're getting there, you guys. All right. Our desires, our hopes, or possibly even our fears, we have the high priestess showing up here. And, you know, the high priestess brings with her some moon energy, you guys, you know. And this is representing mystery, the unconscious intuition and divine realms. Now a sense of calm is being brought into our lives today. And it helps us to be able to find deeper meaning through understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. And you know, there are so many symbols within this card here for rebirth and eternal life. You know, the butterflies floating all around or just are just one of those signs you guys beautiful wonderful amazing energies right there all right some helpful matters some positive energy we have temperance coming in here and again we're seeing butterflies the queen of swords there are butterflies the high priestess and now temperance more butterflies you guys sign of life sign of rebirth and eternal wife you guys yes love it so whether you're male or female this is the energy of sagittarius coming in here and you know this is being able to maintain balance as we combine our forces and practice moderation uh, this is being able to combine you know like fire and water like the uh, picture we see here the person in this card in a way that we make a rainbow you know something beautiful instead of just the water putting the fire out you know we may find that we have one foot in the material world and one in the subconscious as well today you know we're we're perfectly balanced here between the two though you guys yes Yes, love it. Now, you know, we got to have some challenges. We got to have some opposing energies. And the Page of Pentacles is actually bringing it in here today. So whether you're male or female, this is the energy of Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo coming in here. And, you know, we may find challenges today coming in the form of our own, our own insecurities, you know, about our own ability to succeed. You know, we may not fully be believing in ourselves that we can succeed today, which is just really sad. But, you know, there may be bad timing involved or a delay even when it comes to achieving the goals that we have for ourselves. But you know what? It's just a detour, you guys. There's a lesson to be learned here. And, you know, pentacles is that earth energy and and earth takes its time, you guys. So, you know, don't throw it all away and undo so much goodness in a moment where you're just frustrated. You know, we don't want to waste our precious resources and our efforts. You know, we'll be able to pick ourselves back up and dust ourselves off and things will be all right again, you guys. You know, it's just, it's just a little setback, a little obstacle. All right, the outcome, the likely result of the situation, we have the Knight of Pentacles riding in here. So again, whether you're male or female, this is the energy of Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo again. And, you know, like this night, we will need to be cautious and thorough, thoughtful, and hardworking, you guys. You know, we need to be keenly aware of our surroundings at all times. 
Um, you know, we may be moving slowly, but we are still moving. You know, slow and steady wins the race here, you guys. And if we rush ahead, things may not be ready for us. And, you know, we may miss things along the way as we're getting there. So stay the course. Be reliable and stable. Things are going to get better and be okay, you guys. Yes, beautiful, wonderful, amazing energies right there. All right, our angelic message. This is what our guides and our angels want us to know for, for today. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. May you recognize and appreciate all that you have accomplished. You know, you don't have to be ruthless to get ahead or get what you want. And you also don't have to step on other people to get there either. Be smart, tenacious, and use your self-discipline to work hard and get where you are meant to be. Yes, you guys. And nines, you know, they show how the cumulative effect of past events manifest in the present moment. Ooh, okay. Something to think on there. Daily healing. I want to show you the back of the card. I, I love the scenery. Make gentleness a habit. You know, gentleness is a lot stronger than we tend to give it credit for. You know, because being gentle doesn't make one weak. We are preparing ourselves for what may come, but we are remaining sensible. You know, when we make gentleness a habit, we can approach a situation in order to bring about peace instead of going to war. You know, instead of fueling a fire. All right, one of my favorite times of the day, you guys. I'm so looking forward to this one today. Our daily meditation, you know, when we take a moment and we just be, you know, when we uh, pause and reflect, when we breathe deep and we release fully. And, you know, if, when we release, if it wants to come out as a sigh, let that sigh come out. If it wants to come out as a scream, then let that scream come out, you guys. This is about fully releasing. You know, taking in the good, releasing the bad or the negative. And, you know, then we're able to let calm and peace into our soul. And I will put this in the description below in case you guys would like to write it down so you have it. And, you know, you can repeat this to yourself quietly or aloud as many times as you need to. I am happy and attract good health, wealth, and prosperity. Yes, really claim that for yourself today, you guys. Now you could light incense or a candle. You could ground yourself out in nature. You could listen to some meditation music on reflection. You know, whatever it is that you feel led to do, personalize this, customize this to fit yourself. Um, some good crystals to use while you meditate today are Chalcedony, hopefully I'm saying that right, Black Onyx, Rainbow Fluorite, and Blue Kyanite. And you know, if all you have is yourself and your intentions, that is good enough. You are good enough. If you don't have any of these, but you have a clear quartz, you can use a clear quartz in the place of any other crystal. And, you know, until you fully let go of the past and its difficult lessons, you will continue to attract situations that reflect them. Know that all is well and all will be well. And I'm going to take my rainbow fluorite here and place it in my hand. Now, during this time, you may warm up, you may tingle, you may vibrate. If you are holding a crystal, it may warm up, vibrate, and tingle because it's all energy, you guys. I am happy and attract good health, wealth, and prosperity.
I am happy and attract good health, wealth, and prosperity. <sighs> I am happy and attract good health, wealth, and prosperity. Yes, love it so much. Good energy here today, you guys. Um, you know, today there was a lot of earth energy involved. And, you know, earth represents the power of our physical body. And, you know, like I said, earth also takes its time. You know, it doesn't worry about how long something is taking or get discouraged. You know, it goes at its own pace knowing it is right on time. And, you know, sometimes we have to go within to the darkest parts of ourselves to be able to bloom you guys you know we have to we have to go within and reflect and really work on our shadow sides you know embracing the light and the dark sides of ourselves and that's when we truly bloom that is when we truly bloom yes all right gonna take a moment look at the Lou Allen's 2020 which is spell a day almanac and we are looking at Tuesday, November 3rd. The color of the day is black and the incense of the day is basil. It's also election day general um, for us here in the U.S., you guys. Uh, please send love and light, you know, um, good wishes out into the universe, you know, as you make the best choice and decision for yourself, the one that brings you peace, you guys. And I'm going to, you know, I'm not jumping on a political bandwagon or anything here, you know, by any means vote for who you know is right in your own heart that brings you that peace and that clarity, you guys. You know, I've struggled because neither option, <laughs> uh, really uh feels good to me feels right to me um and it's something that i've had to whoo really work at you guys to be able to have peace and um you know that i'm making the best and the right choice for myself and for you know my fellow americans <laughs> you know and, and the world as well so Make it right, make it right. This is a spell to help correct an error, whether political, personal, or global. Gather these items. Two candles, one black, one white with holders, olive oil, a cauldron or heat-proof bowl, a wand, a representation of the problem, a photograph, drawing, etc. Anoint both candles from each end to the middle with oil. On a table, place the black candle on the left and the white one to the right, with the cauldron between them and the wand in front of the cauldron so its handle faces away from you, the tip pointing toward you. And you know, if you don't have an actual wand, you guys, you can totally use a cinnamon stick. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that out there. So, um... Place the representation of the problem between the wand and you. Light the candles, building a strong visualization of your goal. Pick up the wand and slowly with intensity turn it forward so the tip points to the cauldron and say, Out of balance, chaos reigned. Shifting now to corrected course. Reversing harm, the error wanes. Restored and mended by magical force. Extinguish the candles and burn the representation in the cauldron. And that was submitted by Michael Fury, you guys. All right, wow. Like I said, I'm feeling so much energy right now, you guys, which... You know, it's not all positive, it's not all negative, you know, it's it's kind of like a nervous energy and, you know, we just got to do the best that we can, you know, and, and that's all I'm going to say about that, but I hope that we all have a wonderful day. 
Um, if you did enjoy the reading and the messages here, please leave me a comment and let me know. You guys, I love hearing from you. I do take the time to read through all of the comments and respond and answer any questions that there may be to the best of my ability. Um, if you did enjoy the message in the, in the reading, please smash the heck out of that like button, that old thumbs up button, you know, give it the old razzle dazzle pizzazzle there. And please subscribe if you feel led to. I would love and appreciate that so very much, you guys. Um, I love seeing growth. I love seeing expansion and I love being able to interact with you guys. Uh, it really does bring a lot of joy into my life. You guys, you're a blessing for me and I want to be a blessing for you in return and we're still last time I checked two subscribers away from reaching 200 so I'm really excited about that um, and if you do decide to subscribe make sure you tap that bell icon so you get the ding ding when I upload new content and please share you guys because that does help me grow that does help me get out there you guys are so wonderful and so amazing and I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye. <laughs>